I have like four abortions. Four. And three of them almost killed me. Three of them almost killed me. Mm? With one stillbirth. That they remove both. Yeah? Doctors were of the opinion that they, Mimi ni wale, Mimi I am under that category of women where I just used Unajua kuna mwanamke ata jangi aja ingizu wa mboro asha pata mimba. I was that type. Mimi ni yule mwanamume ata kinyambia hai ni pata mimba. Yeah, there are women wako hivo. Eh? Mwanaume ya niambia tu hai mimba isha ingia. Usha una mwanamke kama uyo? I used to be like that. I used to be like that, oh. Na nimepata mimba na P2, mimba ngapi? Na kunywa P2 saa hii, na bado mimba inaingia na inakwama na inakwama na inakwama na inazema zitoki. Hmm? Hmm? So mimi, yani ilifika a point where the doctors say no, 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 no. The cases of my my pregnancies were too high, and they were too too often that they said no 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 no. We must help this woman somehow. So wali nifunga, wali nifunga. After mimi kuza Mikael, muna kumbuka sorry Mikael. Three years, niki kufa na nyege apa ujerumani. Then one day I just met some West African man who said, Hello, eh, mi ni kafikiri ni meambiwa tuende. My friend, iyo hello, nilikuja na uyo mwanaume hapa kuangu, haka ninyandua dakika biri. That was my last pregnancy. The last. Na after two minutes ni aliambia uyo mwanaume umenipatia mimba. Na tukakimbia na nikapewa dawa. Hapa hapa Germany that was the last pregnancy. Na nikapewa dawa. Uh, alikuwa anatoka wapi Guinea? The man was coming from Guinea. Nikapewa P2 ika backfire. P2 ku backfire. Huku Germany kutoa mimba lazima uende kwa kwa church. Uambie hii mimba hauitaki kwa nini I was confused guys my life was confused full of uh, unwanted pregnancies abortions homelessness I was all kind of bullshit you can mention somebody I was the yani Maisha isha kukupeleka The lowest of the lowest of the nothing Mpaka hata familia yako Hawataki kukua related na wewe Dadangu alikuwa na Hakiniona anatembea hivu Hivu I was that messed up I swear Siku moja nime nimepema virago nimetoka uh, another city Huko nishapewa mimba mimba ime ime eh ya wa aki mimi nimetezeka hii Europe Eh nimepema mimba mtoto ya mzungu imefika 3 months kumbe ni still bath Kumbe ni still mimi kwa kili yangu nimebeba papers Hmm? Nimebeba papers. Hapa jamani ukipewa mimba na mzungu ni makaratasi. At least. Three months. Still bath. Tolewa. Kutolewa. Na, na kuja kwa sister. <laughs> sister angu wali niambia. Nilisini li mkolo. Metoka bremen. Halo ni aje. Aki umvu, mzungu wa menifukuza. Saa sijui nitadu. Saa angu wanambia. Si ukuje. Kuja tuwa pa kwangu. During Christmas winter. <laughs> Usiku. From that place I was to my sister's place. Six hours na train. My friends. Nilifika kwa dadangu. Hamezima simu. Satatu ya usi. 
alafu ananiandikia message niko France siko <laughs> Hiyo <laughs> ujue nishaa nini karibu ni kufe kwake eh before hiyo before hiyo sin karibu ni kufe kwake eh juu ya mimba ingine nikakujiwa kwake na ambulance <laughs> mimba ya huyo mkikuiwa simiti kikiwa kama simiti huyo eh huyo ilitolewa na hanga ikabaki <laughs> dadangu kwake eh dadangu akanipeleka hosi akambia watu mimi sijui huyo mtu <laughs> there is an, guys don't blame my sister but there is there is some level of confusion yenye hata relative yako akikuletea unasema ai mimi ai huyo huyo si <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Siku moja sister yangu amechoka na mimba, chukua vitu zako utoke kwangu. Chukua vitu zako utoke kwangu. Ama nikujie polisi, chukua vitu zako. <laughs> Ushaitamani kulia, uwezi lia, unataka kulia. <laughs> you you have made too much mistakes that you don't even know what's wrong with you. I swear. Hmm? Mara nimeolewa one week kwa mzungu mwingine. One week marriage kalas. <laughs> Jamani, nini? Kuna lahana zingine zinatokanga kwa familia. And yangu ilitoka kwa familia 100%. My dad died a very sad person because sikuwa namsikiza nilikuwa mtoto aski maneno alafu mimi niliwambia mimi i got lost in hiyo uh, world ya mijulus nilipenda mijulus sana so my dad hakupenda kuna laana ingine usiposikia mzazi lazima ikutandike i swear eh hey, mimi nimepitia kitamu ni sato li euro 10 years 10 years i swear 10 years Ten years full of ten years full of confusions, uh, botched abortions, uh, stateless, no papers. Paki, <laughs> my problems. Say so I can laugh about my problems. I can laugh. I can just talk about. This is why I can relate with any situation out there, especially watoto wanaishi kwa street cuz i used to live in the street hmm? i used to live in the street and any opportunity nikipata kama mwanaume napita nayo yani bora bora tu ni, ni survive for that moment na maisha iendelee si mungu ananipenda si mungu ananipenda si god anani love eh hizo abortion zote na bado niko na watoto yani healthy three healthy children Mungu ananipenda Mimi siwezi za nilitolewa nilifungwa Wajerumani walinifunga cause the rate of confusion in me was Wa mtu akiwa confused hivyo they come to her rescue unafungwa Mimi nilifungwa So siwezi za tena Nilifungwa after hiyo nini hiyo abortion ya mtoto wangapi after Mikael hmm? after Mikael hiyo pia karibu iniue hmm? hiyo ya after Mikael karibu iniue nikapelekwa theater direct wakafunga kila kitu hmm? so this is why i can tell you sisi wanawake we are very careless we don't think of the repercussions and repercussions of what we do is very very serious guys kama hauna financial support 
ya the things you are going to do wachana nayo wachana nayo na kwanza kama wewe ni mwanamke fatal ukinusa tu mijulu usini hivyo discipline yourself mijulu usini tamu wakati wote but kama itakuletea ile shida uwezi beba wachana nayo wachana nayo kabisa na watu wamezoea kukunywa pitu watu wamezoea kukunywa pitu The faster you stop drinking that medicine the better for you. Before you land in a situation where you cannot go to the you cannot wezi wezi jilipia ICU cause P2 wa inaweka mtu in an emergency operation state where you have to be operated your fallopian tube has to be uh, removed that is what P2 does. P2 iwachangi mtu hivi hivi ikiana mrama na pitu uwe ina ina cause ectopic pregnancy mtoto haifiki kwa uterus mtoto anabaki kwa fallopian tube so it's either hiyo fallopian tube ikatwe ama ibust na ikibust you are dead so choose choose wisely you want to drink pitu and elea mpaka ufike hiyo stage ya mtoto amekwama kwa fallopian tube na hauna pesa ya kukatwa hiyo fallopian tube option ni you are dying hakuna hakuna kitu kingine you have to die if you cannot afford operation lazima uzikwe lazima uzikwe mm -hmm. so think twice when you are taking p2 p2 is very good It will help you for some time but when it gets used to your 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 nini your your blood it doesn't work anymore it will mess you up a big deal If you can stop taking that shit the better Me I almost died Kitu nilinisaidia nilikuwa Europe I was rushed to the ICU and they did me walikata fallopian hiyo fallopian tube ilikatwa immediately na nikaongezwa damu cuz i lost a lot of blood a lot so guys p2 nobody talks about p2 p2 is very dangerous na ingekuwa vizuri hata government ingeitoa tu kwa kwa makemists government should do away with this medicine cuz it is causing silent havoc guys p2 If you can stop buying that because I think it is the cheapest so far. It is the cheapest pill. The cheapest. Guys, if you want to be safe, wacha neni na hizi madawa za family planning. Kabisa. Wacha neni na hizi vitu mnaingizwa under your skin. These things are foreign. And the agenda is to destroy you Tumia ni method ya tumia jwala kama upendi jwala tumia withdrawal hizo zingine wacha neni nazo There are women who develop cancer because of these pills There are women who gain weight and cannot reduce it because of these pills Pills iko na side effect kuna wale wako na migraine migraine uko tu na headache nyingine ya uelewi kuna wale wako na periods from january to december because of pills as for me my advice don't take those things at all fanyeni withdrawal ama tumia mpira that is my advice the safest the safest Si kuna mama aliza mtoto na nini family planning kwa kichwa ya mtoto kama imekuwa eh hizo vitu huwa zinaingizwa hiyo kitu ilikuwa kwa kwa, kwa kwa kichwa ya mtoto hivi coil eh yes so guys as for me i have gone through hell and back My advice to my fellow women not all of us are perfect I cannot judge anybody for their actions I am one of the laziest or the most careless when it comes to mnyandwano 
mimi bora uninyandue nisikie utamu sitaki kujua jina yako uko yako ni gani unaitwa nani i'm that careless and i know there are a lot of us here nani nani amka kwa you usingizi amka kwa you usingizi the best thing i can tell the world is i am hiv negative hapo ndio god ameni save juile ukimwi ningekuwa nimebeba saa hii mi atienu vile nilikuwa natembeza hii nunu yangu and i don't even think twice ile ukimwi ningekuwa nabeba saa hii ukimwi sayara i think singekuwa hata na nywele unajua kuna ukimwi hata hata nywele ainyunyi ainyunyi nywele is no hmm? na ile ukimwi mimi nimekula huko nje because most of the men are dead i know one is is long dead so god protected me guys ju ile ukimimi ningekuwa nimebeba sahi ingekuwa ukimia hatari hatari sana hmm? mungu ananipenda m hmm? hebu tuchezeshe nyimbo moja hapa Mungu ananipenda sana na sana. Nilikuwa natafuta nata nguo. Nishatafuta. Nikapata. <laughs> na we nani? Hebu enda ujaribu. Unashikwa na ukimi sa hiyo hiyo. Hebu go and try. Hebu go and try. Go and try at try. Hey, my friend. Hizi vitu ni bahati ya mtu. Hizi vitu kuna wale umaliza shule immediately the first mnyandu wanu pewa nini ukimi pewa mimba pewa takataka yote ai yawa Mungu awaonekanie juu wenyewe ni bahati ukipitia hiyo process na ujabeba hii ugonjwa inatusumbua Afrika inajiita ukimi eh you are good Mungu anakupenda hebu tu dance kidogo mimi sina ukimwi I don't even know how the tablets look like. But I will not wish that on anybody. I will not wish that on anybody. I made it. And I am here. And I'm alive. And apart from that, I, I went through heart, very, very, very severe heart problem this year that I almost passed on. If you know me, on TikTok and uh, you encountered with me around February March April what I was going through I almost passed on during that time so mungu ni mwema guys if i'm still alive i am a miracle cuz i don't deserve to be alive the things i did alone the dark things the bad things I did that my conscience is not clear still that that was me doing those things imagine when your family don't want anything to do with you because of your behavior because you know when they get when they get when people relate them with you people judge them the same way they judge you hapo sivo mimi natoka sivo Everybody knows me I was a bad girl and everyone gave up on me and everybody said this one huyu tunangoja kumzika They are still wondering I'm still alive I'm a miracle So if I can walk you through the things I literally did and got away with utasema nyako hapo unatudanganya I'm here I'm here to talk about myself and give somebody hope that there is always god mungu anaweza kukupatia more than 10 chances usidanganyike um, uh, kurudia kosa ndio kosa mm -mm. waweza rudia the same kosa more than 10 times but god will still come to your rescue god will still come to your rescue because there is something about you that mungu anataka kutumia kwa wengine 
God want to use you to save somebody somewhere. I swear. So, mimi maisha yangu ni bonus. Naishi katika bonus and that is why I have dedicated my life to serving the less fortunate because I have nothing to lose. I've done it all. Kama ni usherati. Nyi watu kama ni usherati. Kama mtu angekuwa napewa jina ya usherati. Jina yangu ya kwanza ingekuwa usherati atienu. So, I'm coming from a place where I've done it all. I'm not looking forward to repeating that shit. I'm just looking forward to Ushaona mungu mtu ameamua kwa roho yake I want to serve diligently. I want to serve with honesty. I want to serve with pureness. That is me. That is where I am now. And I have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. When I look back at the things I have done, I don't want to wish that on anybody. Because it is messy. It is messy. Oh, it is messy. And you do not understand the messiness until it knocks your door. And the messiness is there. And you don't know what to, to do about your mess. My friend. Don't allow yourself to go that far with your mess. Please, don't land in abortion corridors to minimize your problem. Don't get pregnant. Don't even talk about getting, getting it. If you don't have option on how to deal with that pregnancy, don't get pregnant. Because abortion, you might end up in a coffin. It is not the option. Abortion is not the option. So, don't mess. Kula mijulus, but eat it responsibly. That is what I can tell you guys. Mimi niliponea chupu chupu in all the things I did. I have like four abortions. Four. And three of them almost killed me. Three of them almost killed me. Hmm? With one still bath. And I am still here talking to you. Alive and kicking. And fine. Hmm? Sarah Miria. So, even if you guys, you will use my story. Kunike jelly. Kunitusi. Kunichekelea. Ushayona somebody who has nothing to lose. I... Yani, I am shameless. Choku wanasema gaivu. You are shaming the shameless. You cannot shame me because I am shameless. There is nothing remaining that anybody anaeza kuja akavua kwangu nikaona aibu. Nisha fika musho ya aibu. So when you are using my story kunike jeli, you are wasting your time. Because me, I moved on. I'm using my story to teach somebody not to be messy like me. Yes, you are, you are, you are allowed to laugh about it. And uh, say anything about my story. My story is my story. You can do anything with it, William Tatak. At the end of the day, I have nothing to lose. I don't have parents to protect. Yes, I have kids to protect, but my kids, they don't even understand English or Swahili, so. And they don't even care what I do online. It's my business. So, guys, I wish you well. To Ananeni Badai. I am a reformed everything. I'm from the streets. I am the last of the last, but God has... Mungu ameni pick from the from the last bullshit and raised me up. I have also niko na jawabu ya to get somebody from the street and make that person feel like he's a human being or she's a human being because God has done the same to me. God has raised me from 
ashes to somebody. So that is why I can relate more with street kids and street women. Because that is where I belong, guys. So, I wish you well, guys. Tuonaneni sazingine. We meet in the evening when I'm feeding street kids. I have dedicated my life to the hopeless people in society because that is where I am coming from. I understand that journey very, very well. Very well. Sawa sawa. I'm out. Kwa <laughs> irini.